Christ men say only fools rush in. guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe turn on the notification bell for you to get updated for all my future uploads by the way my name is Raymond your Fedora is here with Anna. okay guys Tim, what's up hello hello make some noise <laughs> all right guys so this is another episode of our series nurse in action wherein I put the spotlight on nurses who are working here in Ireland basically for them to share their working experience here in their respective departments or wards and of course to give you an idea how is it working here in Ireland and today we are just so fortunate to have this special guest and we are going to talk about geriatric nursing so if you were interested about this topic let's get it on please keep on watching and we will start now all right guys so we are back and as I promised today we have a very special guest and that's no other than Mr. Rodel Borja. Hi Rodel, kumusta? Hi everyone, okay naman po ako. Off ako today so... Before anything else, thank you so much for your time. I know that you are a busy person. Siyempre full-time nurse ka din. Just like us, everyone else here in Ireland. Salamat talaga sa pag-grace na welcome. time sa aming lahat. And I'm pretty sure yung mga subscribers ko will be very thrilled to have you <laughs> in the house. Kumbaga. Hopefully. Uh, yeah. <laughs> For sure, that's for sure. By the way, guys, I will just give you a snippet. So, Rodel Borja is one of the finalists ng Ireland's Got Talent. So, we're going to talk about a little bit more of that later on. But for now, our focus is geriatric nursing. Rodel, before anything else, can you give us some brief introduction about yourself? Whatever you can add on. Um, again po, I'm Rodel Borja. Um, I already worked as a nurse for, I think, around five or six years. I first worked in the Philippines. Then, I worked in Saudi Arabia for two years and four months to be exact. Then after that, I decided to work here in Ireland. Here in Ireland, I arrived on January 2018. I worked first in a nursing home. Then now, I work in a geriatric unit in a hospital. I see. So you're going three years in Ireland. Yeah. 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 Wow. By the way, you, you mentioned earlier that you worked in Saudi Arabia. Where are you? the mom. I see. I work in Saudi Arabia as well. So Riyadh naman and uh, Jeddah. Mm. That's nice. Small world. Anyway, so you were from which part of the Philippines? I came from Zamboanga City. Zamboanga. So ang salita doon, yung dialect, um, Jabacano. Chavacano. Wow. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. from the Philippines and Saudi Arabia, anong unit mo? Uh, in the Philippines, I work in a surgical ward okay. and in the emergency room. Mm -hmm. In Saudi Arabia, I work in the ICU. Oh, okay. Then here in Ireland, I first work in a nursing home. After that, I work in a geriatric ward. So, nag nursing home ka muna pagdating mo dito sa Ireland? Yeah. For two years or for a for year? For two years and six months. Oh, I see. Tapos ngayon, nasa, ano ka na, isang magandang yeah. hospital. That's good. For two ah, months pa lang. Okay, congratulations sa new employment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Parang, hindi ba siya big shift from ICU, tapos from surgical ward, tapos ICU, and then now in geriatric. Is it a difficult shift or okay lang? Um, it's a difficult shift, but... Um, somehow, okay lang kasi um, yun naman yung, ano, yung, yung maganda sa atin ng mga Filipino nurses. We're flexible. Kahit anong unit pa tayo ilagay. That's true. Totoo naman. Two months ka, ka na sa hospital mo ngayon. So I'm pretty sure um, medyo nangangapa ka pa sa mga policies and procedure. Medyo. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh, I admit, yeah. So, tell me, uh, how is your typical day? Naglo long day and night shift ka na? Naglo long day na ako and long nights as well. So, on a typical day, yeah. um, we are assigned to six patients. Day shift, we are assigned to six patients. In the night mm -hmm. shift, we are assigned to ten patients. So, in the day shift, we're responsible for, like, the hygiene, the medication, the nutrition, everything. Okay. And we're utilizing the primary care nursing. So that means that you are the primary... Healthcare provider. The, talaga. Yeah, the main point of contact for all the members of the health team, the doctors, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. OT, yeah. PT, SLT, oh. everything. So lahat ng referral. So you mentioned the pag morning you have six patients. Ikaw lang yon, or you have some help as well? Um, we have some help as well from the CNM1 or the clinical nurse manager one we also have CNM2 so it's like a uh, teamwork we teamwork. don't leave anyone behind and yeah. uh, usually who's allocating the patients uh, that's the CNM2 do you have that uh, CNM1 CNM1 
Okay. Yeah. There are they doing kasi depende kasi sa hospital yung iba night duty ang nag uh, allocate for the morning. Sa inyo ba yung morning CNM ang nagbibigay ng allocation? Okay, oh, yeah. Mr. Rodel, you the morning the CNM. I see. And for sure, chine-check nila yung um, equity ng mga pasyente, no? Hindi laging six patients for sure. Hindi lagi. Um, if full house, so that's six patients for sure. But if not, less than six patients. So sometimes you're assigned in the acute side, sometimes okay. in the long term or not so busy side. That's a good point. And usually, in in a shift, how many are you on duty? Um, in the day shift, five nurses, one CNM1, one CNM2. Well, in the night shift, um, three nurses. Three lang. nurses yeah. lang. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sa bagay kasi pag gabi, medyo mas magaan kasi usually yeah. tulog naman ng mga pasyente. Tama naman. Otherwise, medyo kung may emergency, medyo doon ka mabibisi. Ano? So, geriatric nursing. Um, so, what are the usual cases that you're handling? Mainly, those who have dementia or okay. those who are having risk for falls or with unsteady gait, with, with leg problems, and also all the other morbidities associated mm-hmm. with aging. I see. Medyo parang challenging yun, no? I don't know, yeah. ah, because ako kasi I have, I have handled some cases of geriatric Uh, patients pero hindi ako mastered sa, <laughs> sa geriatric nursing. <laughs> hindi ba siya very challenging for you at first because especially galing kang ICU? At times, uh, yeah, I admit it's very challenging especially pag uh, yung patients they are experiencing sundowning yun, sa evening time. Yung okay. nagbabago yung personality, yung ugali, ah, yung okay. nagiging agitated, yung iba sa kanila nag- nagiging violent. I so, see. yun, we have to do a lot of adjustments. We have mm-hmm. to be more patient really You, you have to be really, really, really patient. Patient talaga. Patient ka yeah. dapat sa pasyente. <laughs> yes. Otherwise, alam mo, burnout ka. Anyway, regarding the medications, kasi alam ko, pag geriatric nursing, there might be a lot of medications. How do you administer medications sa uh, unit mo? Like, um, counter-checking, what procedure you're doing? It's just like um, the the usual giving of medication. Um, in, in the nursing home, all the medications are in the tosho. What's that? In the, the blister, blister pack. Okay, blister pack. Yeah. Okay. In, in the hospital, Be you have to it, arrange right? them yourself. You really have to do a lot of double-checking the system in the computer. Yeah. And you have to check the identity of the patient, really. Um, if you will have any medication error, then you will be in big trouble. <laughs> I see. So... I'm, I'm I'm very scared to experience that, so I really double check. Yeah, you really have to. Yes, yeah. yes, that's correct. Yeah. And how do you um, make the adjustments? Since two months ka palang sa unit mo, what are the adjustments you did? Because I felt that the major difference between working in a nursing home and in the hospital is um, in the hospital there are a lot of talking. That there, are, <laughs> you okay. you you really need to do a lot of talking and communication with other members of the health team. You really have to be used to talking. Um, it's a challenge for me because I have a speech defect. Oh. I really have to overcome it. What yeah. speech defect? So, if you don't mind me asking. Stuttering. So you're stuttering. Okay. Stuttering. Yeah. Um, I'm anxious or I'm fearful every time I talk mm-hmm. to the patients, the doctors, the relatives, yeah. and other members of the health team. But. I have no choice. I, I really have to face them. I have to face my fears. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. So far, naman, doing well. Okay, naman. Yeah, doing well. Quite That's well. That's good. Yeah. So you need more for sure. There's a lot of nationalities as well, isn't it? Yeah. How, how do you a deal with of... them? For sure, they have their own practices. They have their own um, character as well. How do you deal with them? Yeah, um, it's okay, naman. I, I'm open to all differences, naman. I I don't mind any difference in culture or way of life because I know uh, in, in every culture or in every part of the world there is always good and bad okay. it's everywhere it's inherent <laughs> everywhere <laughs> in the world so it's like I um, just do my job <laughs> yeah and also respecting each other's yeah. culture okay? yeah. and of course yeah. tama ka naman, you have to really do your job very well and regarding the documentation I'm just curious the documentation but sa, sa ward is different to the nursing home uh, in the nursing home kasi I can tell that the documentation is more like generic but in the hospital you have to be um, really specific in detail you, yeah. you have to yeah you have to be more detailed because if you will be in trouble then you will be accountable regarding the COVID response I'm sure we're still facing Facing this COVID challenges sa uh, lahat yes. ng hospital. So how do you or how is your unit coping with the COVID? In our unit, there's no wave two. Um, in the nursing home where I worked before, yeah, we experienced the first wave there. We had to use PPE and practice strict hand washing and and other hygiene procedures. I even experienced it myself. I had COVID myself and recovered from it successfully. Okay, when did you have it? During the peak of um, COVID or in nursing home, was, I suppose. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in in the last week of March. How was it? How was how was your experience? I experienced all the symptoms, um, specifically shortness of breath and loss of 
taste. Um, luckily, it was just mild. I overcame it with, without much issues or difficulties. Nag vitamin C lang, paracetamol, uh-huh. PRN, increased oral fluid intake, and a lot of rest. That's good. Luckily, but were you um, admitted in the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> but were you admitted in the hospital or you were sent to the uh, HSC facility? No, um, I was just sent to the HSC facility for okay. swabbing. I didn't require hospitalization, so I just stayed in my room. Talaga isolation na lang. Ah, babalikan ko lang yung about dun sa geriatric nursing. Since puro matatanda, how is it? Hindi ba masadong the heartbreaking, medyo critical or acute yun acute ng illness nila? How is it? How how do you deal with that? Um, if they're experiencing um any kind of deterioration in in the dying phase na sila, mm-hmm. yeah. It's really heartbreaking because somehow you see in them your your old loved ones, like your old uh, yes. your grandmothers, your aunties. Or... Mostly, ba or most of the time, are the relatives coming and going, or they are staying in the ward? At this time, no, because of COVID, so okay. nobody is allowed yeah. to get in the hospital. Luckily. Yeah, but I'm pretty yeah. sure they're calling many times on the phone. Just to yeah, check on their... they're always calling. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. every hour or every 30 minutes, somebody is calling asking for one of your patients. So you have to answer like in detail. You have yeah. to gain their trust that you're giving exactly. the care for their loved one. Th- yeah. That's very true. Any major difference to practice? So working from the Philippines and then from Saudi Arabia and now here in Ireland. The, the use of the computer system. I'm here. It's all in the computer. There are only a few documents that are paper-based. But in the Philippines still, it's mostly paper-based. And also, yeah. um, I can say with the treatment of nurses, because here mm-hmm. you can't just shout at the nurses. No doctor is shouting at the nurses. We have certain autonomy. I mean, if you yeah. if you're not happy about the management, if you are not happy about the medication, yeah, that's actually, true. Yeah, yeah. we can actually tell it to them. Do you have any crazy experience dealing with? the patient, your, your manager, or even the doctors. Do you have something like that that you can recall? There is a patient that is um, that went out of the unit w- without permission. Abscond. So it, it's like absconding. Um, we search for the patient. I search for the patient. It's, it's my patient. I search for the patient for more than one hour. Oh. Um, <laughs> we, 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 we cannot find him in the entire hospital. It's a very big hospital. We cannot find him anywhere. So I thought that I'm going to lose my license. Like, I'm thinking na kabago-bago ko pa lang. Mas nawala ka na license ko. And then after one hour, the, the patient came back to the unit. Like he nothing he happened. Got lost in the other units. Ah, okay. So okay. But, from that point, I promised myself that this will never ever happen The same happen incident again. will happen. <laughs> yeah. Pag ganyan ba, um, I, I'm just curious. Do you do incident report? Pag may mga ganyang um, yeah. scenarios? You do, yeah. just for reporting purposes. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good. Being here for three years, I know there's a lot of milestone that you have uh, encountered and reached. And isa na nga dyan yung pagsali mo sa Ireland's Get Talent. Dal Boha! They didn't treat you quite as good as I should have. Can you just give us like a very short journey dun sa pagsali mo? It's not in my plans. To, to join Ireland's Get Talent. I don't like joining competitions or contests because I think I don't have yung sabi nila na lakas ng loob. Okay. Um, when I was working in in our nursing home before, one of the residents convinced me to join Ireland's Get Talent. There's an ongoing audition now. Who knows? It might change your life forever. Oh my God. So I tried lang. I yeah. tried to join. And then when they called me after two months, I had no choice but sa yeah. na lang. <laughs> <laughs> Toto, hanggang saan ka umabot? Sa Ireland's Got Talent? Semi, semi-finals. Semi-finals. Wow. Ano yung audition piece mo? Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Wow. Baka naman pwedeng two lines dyan. <laughs> okay. Uh, Twice men say Only fools rush in But I can't help Falling in love with you. Yes! <laughs> Guys, alam nyo, maganda talaga ang boses ni Rada. We met once sa, sa church namin before. And he's really a good person and ang ganda ng boses. <laughs> sobra, sobra. And other than that, other than sa pagsali mo sa Ireland's Got Talent, any other things, good things na the big in Ireland so you what are those it has also given me a chance to um, help my family since the salary is significantly higher as okay. compared to yeah. 
the Philippines and in, in Saudi Arabia. So it gave me the chance to help my family financially or to help uplift our, you know, living conditions. Yes. Somehow. Yes. At marami na bang ipon si Nurse Rodel? Mm-hmm. Ay, wala po. Hindi <laughs> 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 naman masyado. I'm pretty sure a lot of them are curious how is it working in a geriatric nursing or in, you know, in any hospital here in Ireland. Can you give a valuable tips or advices? Maybe the top advice I can give is um, just have faith in yourself and in God. Be- um, because at many points in your nursing career, or in your life, syempre, you will have challenges or difficulties. Most of the time, you will be tempted to give up. But if you have faith in yourself and in God, um, you will be able to look for solutions to your problem, be able to somehow manage to overcome your obstacles. Yung mga applicants natin in the, in the Philippines who are having difficulties with applying. Yes, yes. Um, abroad. Dalo may employment with, ban pa, di ba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So just don't give up and maybe the right time will come for you. Also for those who are taking the IL, if you have to take it many times, uh, it's okay. Just mm-hmm. don't give up. Thank you so much. You know what, uh, Rodel, I really hate to end this kind of conversation, but before we end this, do you have any channel? Do you have? Do you want to promote um, your music? You can follow me po in my social media page, Rodel Borja, my Facebook page, also my YouTube channel, same, Rodel Borja, on Instagram. Yeah, you have Spotify as well. Yeah, yeah. Where I they can Spotify download. Well. Yeah, they can just search your name there, yeah? Just search for my name. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stuttering, guys. Because no, 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 <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's, before we end this, baka naman pwedeng two lines ng, ng kanta na pwede mo ialay sa ating mga subscribers. Oh. Any Christmas song na lang. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. That's it. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Rodel, thank you so much for your time. Really, I'm. it is such an honor to be with you in one no screen problem. here in You're my welcome. channel. <laughs> Salamat sa pag-support din sa mga ganito mga advocacy. Thank you so much talaga. Thank you so much. No Once again, this is Mr. Rodel Borja a geriatric nurse sa isang hospital dito sa Ireland. And please don't forget to follow his channel sa YouTube, sa Facebook, and of course, download mo na yung mga music niya sa Spotify. Okay? Thank Once you again, very guys, much, Nurse yeah. Raymond. Thank you, thank you. Once again, guys, this is Nurse Raymond. And please, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And don't forget to follow my Facebook page. Once again, thank you so much, and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.